This comparison test is a bit schizophrenic. A mix of two doors and four doors, seating for two or four, and turbocharged and normally aspirated power plants with four cylinders, six cylinders, and no cylinders at all. What these cars do have in common are prices in the low to mid 30s and sportiness. The starting point is the Mazda RX-8, the rotary powered champion of our last sporty coupe Comparo and a three time 10 best winner. The 135i seems to be the least compatible member of this group, a formal coupe that can barely claim to be a sports car. But it has 300 horsepower under its hood, we haven't found other suitable showdown opponents, and besides, it's a BMW. The two other challengers are easier to categorize. Both are two-seaters that wear the sports car mantle comfortably. The Pontiac Solstice GXP has acquired a roof, living up to the promise of the coupe concept that debuted seven years ago. Nissan 370Z represents an extensive makeover with an updated chassis, new dimensions, new sheet metal, and a new engine. Pontiac Solstice GXP Instead of the pure hardtop shown on the original show car, Pontiac gave the coupe a target top, providing the option of a little roadster ambiance. The GXP coupe uses the same turbocharged 2-liter Ecotec that's found in the roadster, and somehow managed to trip to 60 four tenths quicker at 5.2 seconds. Still, the Solstice trailed the BMW in the Z car, and the robust turbo cars out for a 6-speed, like now. The suspension makes for the comfiest ride of this bunch, but this has negative effects on our cornering and lane change. The steering's on-center feel was vague, and poor visibility, a cheap interior, and uncomfortable seats dragged down the Solstice's score. Mazda RX-8 R3. Yes, we're horsepower freaks, but handling's good too. The RX-8 is one of our longtime faves in that department, winning two previous Comparos even while outgunned in the engine. This new R3 variant has a stiffened front suspension crossmember, higher spring rates, firmer shocks, and 19-inch tires. It still holds its own among this more powerful pack, offering precise steering and incredible balance. Ride quality is quite firm though, and there's bucking and tire slap on rough stretches of freeway. It's noisy too. We have to say that the RX-8 still looks snappy though, and the price is attractive. But against an opponent that can match its finesse, the Mazda comes up short, as the rotary engine is light on power and torque, and thirsty for fuel too. BMW 135i The BMW 135i is a smaller, lighter version of our perennial favorite BMW 3 Series. This coupe uses the same 300 horsepower 3 liter twin turbo 6 and 6 speed manual as its big brother 335i. It's quick and delivers strong, fade free braking. The steering is communicative and accurate, and the 135i's tidy dimensions make it handy in close quarters. The seats were the best of the group, supportive during aggressive driving, and comfortable for the long haul. The Bimmer's ride quality and general comfort also topped our charts. But the 1 Series looks kind of weird, and there were remarks about the tight driver's footwell, cramped rear seats, and as-tested price of $37,775. The real issue is track dynamics. The 135i was competent and utterly predictable, but the suspension that makes it pleasant on the freeway doesn't help on the track. This is a lovely car to live with as a daily driver, but it also defines the difference between a sports coupe and a full-blooded sports car. Nissan 370Z to be honest, we were mostly curious to see how the 370Z stacked up against the two-time champ RX-8. The Z is all about power, with a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds, and grip, turning in 0.98 G on the skid. The new Z's 3.7 liter V6 whomps up 332 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque, but can still get a tad thrashy at high RPMs. It lacks the BMW's low rev grunt, but power is abundant once everything's spinning over 5 grand. The 6 speed manual is beautifully matched to the engine. The new Synchro Rev rev matching feature delivers seamless downshifts. You can shut it off and heel and tow for yourself, but we think it's a pretty cool piece of tech. Ample power, aggressive styling, gorgeous fighter cockpit interior, and the lowest base price. It's a package that's hard to resist. The best sports car on the planet for the money? Nissan's 370Z. For the complete story, go to carandriver.com.